whenever I begin reverse engineering, I make sure my views are registered so that when I'm working in one view, it, rep it reflects in the, in the other view or a third view if there is one. This will become more apparent further down. This green line represents the center of both images or as close as I can get to it. To build the body of this object, all that's required are these two curves. This is a circle, a planar circle only. Resist the urge to go to convert to NURBS. Until you know what this command really does, build your curves this way. I'm going to add a 3D locus point, select both curves, and do a straight along a path. I'm going to add at least 24 points. I'm going to delete the planar curve and use a NURBS curve and pick off the points. I use interpolation point mode. And you can delete the points after. Select the two NURBS curve and extrude along the path again. This time 12 iterations. Use the settings shown and copy these to the layer above. Activate show others in layers and you can see how your curves are along the center of mass in both views. Zoom in as shown and this becomes the more tedious part. You'll select each curve, blow up, and you'll just stretch it till it hits the center of the line that denotes the, uh, the shape. This is not a high resolution image, so I'm just doing the best I can that it uh, demonstrates how this works. For the last curve, once you select it, and choose scale, symmetrical, and set it to 0.1. Move to a top view and repeat this process in the top view. For curves that are quite thin, hold your shift key down, it tends to constrain them better. When you are finished, you should have what looks like this. Turn off show layers and delete this center line. And then pick off all your curves using loft nerves, no rails. A dialog box comes up. Set each one to zero. And hit OK. And there is your body. You can copy that to the layer above. In the layer above the one you are now in is some planar geometry that represents the uh, uh, perforations in the in the head, I suppose. And they are just extruded and um, joined all together as add solids as one unit. You can copy them back down to the layer where your geometry is and it should be in place and then do a subtract solids. And we are done.